welcome back with another new video where today i'm going to show you gcam lmc which is 8.8 .8 r1 version uh, for redmi 7 and redmi y3 this is not only for redmi 7 you guys can easily use that gcam to any kind of android devices if you have a low-end device uh, supported with latest android version and you are using low uh, mid-range or upper mid-range or flagship whatever you have you will get a much much better photos according to your device configuration as i have a low end device which is redmi 7 and i am going to show you in that device and some samples are added actually i'll show you uh, both files which will be a config file and another will be without config file so uh, let me show you first of all uh, let me introduce uh, the f uh, photos and uh, options which available in that gcam okay here we have the portrait charts and night sights and I'm using here this color blue XML file and you guys will get the link in description if you don't want to continue the video just check out description and download Gcam and XML file then go start capturing photos uh, just click on import and you're good to go first of all let me show you how you guys can uh, save the config file first of all go to more settings and then you guys will uh, get here the config just click on that config file and you are good to go just click on that show config name and then go to save config and type anything here then uh, praise ok then you guys will get one folder in your internal storage as like other gcam if you have installed earlier and after importing this config file you guys will get uh, res lib library that means you guys can see here the mode here we have the modes if you click here you will get the animations and options here we have the rain lib res ldr leica whatever you need and on the top you guys can enable auto white balance and zw and then we have the autofocus okay if you click here it will be hidden and if you want to access other things just click here and you guys can record videos 1080p uh, and 4k as usual uh, everything is available here let me show you here fhd 24 fps 30 fps you guys can manually set this and if your device uh, supported 8, 8k is you can also record 8k videos in that one and full hd 1080p 30 frames per seconds and now you guys can use slow motion time lapse and as a low-end device this is useless so i'm not going to use that now let me show you some samples which i already taken okay first of all let me show you the samples uh, which is taken without config file uh, first of all this one uh, this one photo uh, okay, let me show you from the photos okay these are the photos i have captured it was, uh, i just captured without anything no config file included just as it is default settings just uh, some minor changes i did my uh, personally and then i captured all these photos and almost the realistic color or realistic color if you want a pure natural color then you guys uh, don't need to use any kind of config file if easily you guys can use it and the detail level is really insane this is cool then let me share other photos uh, to exp uh, check exposures and it can handle everything easily then this one a portrait shot I've taken this his detection was perfect and this was normal shot and this is the photo and when I will show you this sa the same photo using config file you guys will see here the detail level will be blown out uh, due to exposure and the detail level will not be compromised detail level will be same okay another photo here is the detail level which is really really insane and here you can see dynamic range is really really great another one the real color of the sky and that was really really cool as I was seeing in my eyes better dynamic range everywhere you guys can see and better shadow details everything 
and these are the normal shards I hope this is cool and this is the real color as I have seen in my eyes the flower colors and you guys will see the same photo uh, using config file how color boosted if you like boosted colors or social media ready files then you can definitely use the gcam with config file okay here is the detail level which is really really good and, and the last one now let me show you the photos using config file okay first of all this one which is eye catchy i guess it looks great and this is really eye catchy and you can you guys will get a different boosted colors and i already told you uh, without the object you guys will get over exposed to color but you will get a boosted colors if you like so and this one you can see the boosted colors uh, but the detail level almost same there is no compromise and this one also using i don't know why uh, it doesn't capture any kind of boosted color or something uh, this guy was really gloomy so as it is and that one too so you guys can see here and this is the boosted color another one but the detail level is really really insane as it is a low-end device and the one and this one I already showed you the real color of the photos uh, of that flower but now it's really really boosted colors if you like so then you can use this and another one but the detail level is really really great and the drop of water and the mud everything is clear visible in the photo so detail is really really important for a photo if you want to take so this all are the photos I have taken and uh, I let me show you one thing you guys can uh, record videos of course 1080p 60 30 4k 30 60 everything you guys can use according to your device configuration and if you are using config file then of course you must uh, give it some time to complete the processing SDR plus processing of course you have to give time and if you don't use any kind of uh, config file then easily you can use this no problem with that well really really thanks to the builder for building this one hope you guys understand so thank you for watching